really like the way uh, the detections ran. Uh, it's a very, it's, a, it's efficient. It's a whole lot more efficient. You can cover a lot more ground without wearing the dog out and yourself out and going around in the car and doing this weird backward walking, pointing at everything you want them to smell. Uh, it's, you know, they, the detection works way better and it's a lot different than anything I've ever seen. Um, I am, I mean, it works, works really, really well. That I, I can trust him on the street. I've seen him on the street working, so I have no doubts in his ability to do the job. None. Stay in the vehicle, ma'am. Ma'am, stay in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle now. The, the method of the training here was a lot different than what I've been exposed to in the past, and it seemed to seemed to be better. Um, I know with Kesna, she she already seems like she's that she's ready to go. I mean, she's she seems to be very proficient on everything that she's that she's done. Um, the the trailing and the detection work is, is better than what I've seen in the past. And, uh, overall, I just think that it's it's more effective. Coming from you know the national certified you know, organization that we've used in the past, none of that was had real life scenarios in it. It was all real structured and kind of almost like a show dog type deal where there wasn't anything super realistic in it. With this, it was very realistic. I felt especially some of them were were, were pretty spot on, and I think it I think it helps a lot more. What I liked best coming here was the uh, scenario-based training. It brought a perspective to me that I don't think I could have got anywhere else. Uh, real life experiences on the street, since we didn't just stay stationary at one training facility, was all over. Uh, yeah, I know what the dog's going to do in real life scenarios versus just stationary training. Uh, got to see things that I probably wouldn't have got to see anywhere else. I like the scenario-based training a lot. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's fast, it's uh, high speed, makes you think. Uh, and it's nice to do it that way rather than kind of winging it whenever you might happen to come across something like that in the field. Because uh, you uh, makes you think a lot more about how to be safe about a lot of things.
especially with the trailing. That's when it's broke down the way it was broken down, it's not black magic anymore. It's actually like, it's pretty easy to understand and it's very easy to see once you know what you're looking at. Because there was a lot of times with my previous dog where he was probably right and uh, we were so focused on what I was told, you know, keeping his head, trying to keep, get him to keep his nose down, things like that. that I, th I think we would have had even a higher success rate in apprehensions and stuff and catching people. In, you know, but that's one thing I like a lot. Uh, Lectures uh, were definitely helpful. I learned a lot through lecture that I could then um, bring to the hands-on experience that I got here. I uh, learned a lot of new ways to do things that I feel are going to enhance my performance when I get home. So much stuff was covered that I've never even, you know, has never been, I guess, broken down that way. So, uh, I mean, it was, shoot, it was, I, I feel like every person, even the people like, who are in here that do nothing with dogs other than supervise somebody, they have more, they had more knowledge by just sitting here listening for three days than guys that have handled dogs for years have. Uh, like I said, I was hearing stuff I've ne never heard it before, and that's not because it's some made up thing that only a few people know. It's out there, but you know, it's just never really been, um, I guess, broken down to a point where it's incredibly easy to understand. The confidence I have in the dog is, I mean, I'm ready to, I feel like I'm ready to go ahead and go back. I mean, obviously there's, you know, we're, I guess we got to finish getting used to each other, but I mean, the dogs, anything I ask the, the dog to do right now, I, I feel like it would be successful doing it. Um, it's definitely ready for the street. Uh, not going to really have like any cleanup work or anything like that to do with them. I mean, she's, she's spot on, so she's, she's ready for it. As time goes on, her confidence is going to get more, and my confidence is going to get more with her, and it's just going to you know, just get better and better and better. I'm very confident that uh, when I get home that the dog will be well-trained along with myself. I believe we're going to have excellent success once we get back home. I would definitely recommend Highland Canine uh, training to any law enforcement agency that's looking for a well-trained dog and a great establishment to learn how to work with that dog. Um, and to have excellent success uh, once you get back home to your agency. The instructors here are awesome, uh, very knowledgeable, and whenever I had a question, they always uh, were able to answer it.